you are a man in demand. Uh, we've been looking to get this podcast <laughs> done for a while and you're here, there and everywhere. And I think there's elements of that lifestyle, which is extremely fulfilling, but it, it can be tiring. How does the Mr. Motivator carve out time for himself? My work is my play, right? Love that, love yeah. what you do. Yeah. Love what you do. I mean, it never is hard work. You know, right now in my life, I'm spending a lot of time. I've just signed a deal with Saga, which means doing six cruises a year for them. Nice. And it's empowering the older person and making them understand that as you get older, there's no reason for you to go over the hill and, and die. You can yeah. pick up speed, right? And we get great results, right? When you get start with 80% of the people sitting down, by the end of a two-week cruise, you've got 80% standing up. That's achievement. And all you're doing is empowering them with your words and giving them bits of information that'll lift them up. But on top of that, what else do I have? All the stuff I'm doing with children. I believe that every child at school should not be forced to do PE. Now, you may think that's, oh, that's, that's a bit a, controversial, isn't it? That, that is controversial. Yes, but I'm intrigued. But hang on. At school, how many kids from your school went on to become a super athlete? Uh, Very few. You had two. to think about it. Two. Two out Myself of how many? And Rory McIlroy. There you go. There you go. Game. Two yeah. out of it. Yes, still, we take them all children through the same tunnel yeah. and say, listen, you must run across the field in the dead of winter with shorts which are up to here. You're freezing cold. They're children of different shapes and sizes who don't want it because we're not all built the same. Yeah. Some kids are academic, they don't want it. So if you want exercise to be part of their life, you've got to do it in a way in which they don't even think about it as being exercise. They go, I'm having some fun, I'm having laughter. So I've got this project called Give Me Five. Oh, yeah. And the idea is, right, that a school teacher in the middle of the lesson sees the kids falling asleep. So he says, oh, you lot, give me five. Puts on my video, yeah. five minutes of exercise, nice. the kids are moving. And what are they doing? If it's done fun, they're doing it. They're having a real laugh. So what have you done? You put PE in, into, a, into a framework that everyone can adopt. How are you, mommy? I'm good. You're good. Good to see you. <laughs> Sorry about this. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I think I'm going to say hello to every single person. I but you must. I do do a lot of that. I You've do. got to do it. But we all can do it. You take it to another level. Oh, yeah, too right. But we've got to do it because the thing about it is that probably made her day. Yeah. Because everyone is in the world of the, the phone. And they're in that world, right, which is lonely. And the entertainment they're relying on is all there. Yes, still the spoken word. We know what it was like in lockdown. Oh, Come on, brutal. we miss the human touch. Oh, this is why this started. Because we wanted to get out walking and talking with people. Because Makes sense. people are everything. Absolutely right. Makes sense. And, you know, more we should do it. Because, I mean, come on, look at the beauty all around you. I mean, just look at it. And it is lovely. It is. Sun shining. The only thing that's boring here is the cameraman. Ooh. Could you find another one with less hair? I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I hate when they got so much hair. I mean, all I have to say to you people with hair, don't forget when God made heads in men, he put hair on the ugly ones. <laughs> right, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. Done, done. The end. The end. He's got to jump. Now talk to me yeah. about the way you've adapted with society because okay. Your career has spanned a few decades. <laughs> I remember you in the 90s. <laughs> Not only has technology changed, but the way in which we approach fitness has changed massively. Yeah, yeah, it has. Here's a shame. We develop all these brand new exercise names, exercise theories. It's all a bit of a con sometimes. And it right? is a con. Wrapping it in cotton wool yeah, and trying to sell it. It is a con. Yeah. Because what it's done it has not improved or increased the amount of people taking up exercise. But to the regular exerciser, instead of you saying this is a circuit training, you say this is a P90X or this is a HIT. But it's only the same people doing it. Yeah. So we have got to bridge the gap between you sitting in your sofa saying, I know I should. I ought to, I ought to get up. I ought to join the gym and that gym. And that's why my online classes are really important, I feel. Because if I can get you just moving your shoulders, just getting you marching on the spot while you're sitting down, tapping to the music and just playing the drums or shooting the basket or whatever, right? Right, we're doing all of this. All that is movement. Yeah. And the body loves movement. You've got 650 muscles. Every time we take a step, 250 muscles are working. So if I can encourage you to get out of that chair and take a step, my goodness, you're on your way. Imagine half of the muscles you have is moving. Isn't that great? So yeah. for those people yes. that wake up, yeah. that are demotivated, yeah. not inspired to move, mm -hmm. what would be your biggest piece of advice? Okay, here we go. 
every single day we get up, yeah. we must count our blessings. That's the first thing. Yeah. I'm with you on that. Yeah, you've got to count your blessings. Be all right? grateful for life. Yeah, yeah. Because if you're going through a bad time, yep. don't forget it's only a bad moment. It's not a bad life. Yeah. All right? When you get up, look in that mirror and be proud of who you see. Be proud of who you see. Look at the muscles on him. You say to that person looking back at you, aren't I blessed? Aren't I feeling great? You've got to set yourself up for a great day ahead. So you tell yourself, today is going to be a great day no matter what. And mean it. Because remember, when you walk into work like this, yeah. no one will come and say, how are you are? Because they know how you are. They can see that you're not in a good mood. The moment you walk in like this, everybody wants some of that. They come over, what are you on? What, what did you have last night? What do you think about posture and the way in which we conduct ourselves? Absolutely right. That's what I'm showing you. The moment you do this, if everyone right now was to imagine that there's an orange between their shoulder blades yeah. and gently squeeze out the juice of that orange, automatically your posture is improved. You feel proud. You look around and you go, is that me? Wow, look at me. You know what we say? <laughs> what do you say? So our little motto is yeah. tits up. <laughs> Let's slay. <laughs> <laughs> Tits up, let's slay. I love it. What do you reckon? Yeah, that's a great one. You... Great colours. Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> you, are you on board with that? We've spoken to ourselves. We've looked in the mirror. We've got our tits up. Hi. What's next? Listen, there's a load of stuff that's next. Number one, I've set up this online club to try and get all those people who are sitting in the sofa right now to move their body. That's important. I do all these free classes because again, I want to empower them. It's not about money. I believe that, you know, kindness is one thing you can't give away. Yeah. Because the more you try, the more it comes back to you. So I do all these free classes, right? Because I know it makes me feel good. And I get the response from the public who they come over, they cut me. I've had so much beard rash recently. What's it's very that? good. Beard rash. Is that because you've had so many people? Uh... So many men cuddling me. Oh, oh yes, there you go. Love that, love that. <laughs> yeah. And that's what it's all about, right? And yeah. I'm having the time of my life. And I believe that I can continue to set an example because I believe as we get older, we must look after ourselves. We should remain independent. We should ensure, right, that in fact, we are still able to wash all the bits ourselves that need washing. And that only comes by moving your body. Sitting around doing nothing means that you're going to be dependent on the NHS forever. And they stretch the limit, doing an amazing job. You can reduce the amount of work the NHS have to do if you take control of you. Do you move every day? You're joking, every day. I have a desk, number yeah. one, that I can bring up and down. So I've, and my alarm clock goes off every hour to remind me to stand up. Because sometimes you can be so engrossed on the computer, yeah. you forget to get up. But it alarms, and when I get up, I use, I either march on the spot, do some press-ups, grab my, I got one dumbbell in my office, a heavy dumbbell, I do one dumbbell. I do something every day, and that's why I'm still standing up here, upright, whereas you look at every other 70-year-old you meet. Then, I don't want to be like that. They're not dressed like that. No, that's and true. And they haven't got that Well, they can't carry it off. What are your thoughts yeah. on coffee? Because everything you've sort of explained yeah. would make me think that you don't drink it because I, you drive little yeah. little pumps of exercise yeah I, I don't i don't really need it i mean i'd have to say okay i do yeah right. i love a coffee yeah but loving it doesn't necessarily mean you need it that's true you only love it you know all i'm saying to you is right i find it's better for me to have, do everything as a treat so for example i have once a month m m's and i have crisps with it once a month and i look oh, forward to it every, cute. i look for, and crisps yeah, they put them together <gasps> My lord. What crisps are you eating? It's got to be plain crisps. Oh, just like, like ready salted? Yeah, ready salted, plain crisps. That's really quite basic. Yeah, no, that's number one. Number two, I like a mocha, okay, right? Which nice. is chocolate and a little bit of coffee. Yeah, that's but an I, executive But coffee. I won't only have that probably once a week, twice okay. if I'm lucky. Oh, well. So everything I do is I, I treat, make it a treat. But I'm not saying to people you need to follow a particular diet because yeah. I don't believe that's where it's at. Yeah. I think what you should do is enjoy your life yeah. Have a little bit of what you fancy, but don't overdo it. Simple yeah. as that. Because Balance. how many coffees do you have? Well, a I've day. had uh, one so far, uh -huh. one proper one, and uh -huh. then I've had one decaf. Well, there you go. And then uh, the treat will be later in the day. I'll have another one. So yeah. we've got a lot I, on today. I can't do it. Can you not? I can't do it. I just feel, I've, listen, you got a car, yeah? Yeah. Electric, diesel. It takes petrol. Okay, good. So when you go into that service station, you don't put diesel in that car, do you? Uh, don't put diesel, diesel in there. No. no, no and yeah. why don't you put diesel in it? Because she, my girl wouldn't like the diesel. She's right. not going to run well on diesel. She's not going to run well. Hear the words. She's not going to run well. Yeah. So we should all be careful about what we put in our bodies.